Okay, next up, level two. We're um, keeping the same base movements, but we're making them slightly more challenging um, to progressively overload the exercise. Exercise one is an eccentric push-up. So just our normal push-up, except we're gonna hold at the bottom for three, two, one, and up, and lower down. Three, two, one, up, down, three, two, one, up. Okay, making sure when you're holding at the bottom, you hold a steady plank rather than dipping through the hips. Okay, nice solid plank and back up. So we'll keep the, um, the hold to three seconds, but to make it harder, you're gonna increase those reps. So we're aiming for 10, and then we'll look to go to 12 and keep pushing it up from there. Okay, next up, we're going the goblet squat. So lining your heels and toes up, holding a weight if you've got a dumbbell, that's ideal down and up, holding it nice and tight to your chest, your elbows come in between your knees. Okay, if you don't have a dumbbell, you could use a, a kettlebell, okay, holding it upside down. Same again, elbows nice and tight, driving through the heels, getting full range. Okay, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can go for a plate, holding at your chest, And then that's an exercise you can get creative with. Okay, if you don't have any um, equipment at home, you can look around. I can see here I've got this brick. There's a way for me to do my goblet squat. Okay, the next is our, our rowing exercises. This is often one that's quite hard when you don't have um, equipment, but we're gonna do what we can with um, the equipment. If you've got a chin up bar, that's ideal. You can loop a band around it or if you're um, down at the park and you see a bowl, uh, pole, you can do chin-ups. Alternatively, if you have a band, you can do a bent over row. Back nice and flat, chest up, elbows to the sky, lower down. Okay, you could also use a plate if you have one. So hinging at the hips. or alternatively a dumbbell. Hinging over again. Neck nice and long. Aiming for 10 reps and making it harder by increasing the um, reps. Next up we have single leg glute bridge. Okay, so you're gonna arms down on the ground, push your hips up, extend one leg out. So you want both um, quads parallel spiking the heel into the ground, trying to keep your hips even. Okay, and we're aiming for 30 seconds on the clock. When I get to 30, I'll switch legs, realign the hips, and extend the leg. To make it harder, you'll take away the stability and take arms to the sky. Okay, next up we have um, a plank again. We're gonna make it a much more active plank by pulling our elbows and our toes towards each other to really engage the abs. Okay, and we're gonna try and increase the, the uh, duration of the plank to 45 seconds or above. So same, it will look the same, okay, but it'll feel differently in that I'm pulling the elbows and the toes together and holding for at least 45 seconds. Next up we have the broad jump. So we wanna think about um, our jumping and our landing mechanics really focusing on the landing to start and then increasing our distance. So we'd start with our arms up, bean back, stick the landing. Okay, then you'd come back. And as you progress, you're trying to get further with your jump while maintaining the landing. Picking up, triple extension, stick the landing.